y'all welcome back to my channel today i have a special guest my momo is with me today hello we are going to be making her famous potato salad so i did a poll on my instagram and asked would you rather see beans and rice or potato salad and potato salad won by a long shot so we're going to be sharing our family recipe with you This is a recipe that I use and have used for years. Whenever I have to bring something to a party or I have to make a large batch of it, this is my go-to. Very good potato salad. Everyone has their own recipes. This is the one that has been in my family for many, many, many years. There is one ingredient that a lot of people don't use but does make a difference. Makes a huge difference. And all our family uses it. And it's a secret ingredient. And we're going to tell you what that is today. We're going to tell you what our secret ingredient is. It's all about the secret ingredient. Yes, it is. We're going to start with about eight medium Yukon Gold potatoes. They're better, they cook faster, and they're easier to take the skins off. You boil them. Take the skins off after they've cooled and you dice them. It's best to do it once they've cooled so you don't end up with mashed potatoes. That's a tip for you. Yes. Then three eggs, boil and peel. It's good if you put it in ice water. The peels come off real easy when you dip your boiled eggs in ice water. You won't have it break up on you as you're taking off the shells. An onion, about half an onion for these potatoes here. You dice them up really good. You are going to need some mustard, green olives, dill, pickles. I think you use sour sometimes. Mm, but my dad likes sour, but yeah. dill is better. Preference, I would use dill pickles. Mayo and the secret ingredient. Yes. This is a sandwich spread. A lot of people like to put Miracle Whip. We have always used sandwich bread. It does make a difference. And the mustard, we use the mustard to kind of cut a little bit of the sweetness. You don't put a whole lot, just enough to give it that extra little yeah. tang. And the pretty color, right? And the beautiful color, yeah. yeah, it's not white. All right, we gotta get all these veggies chopped and we'll be back. Woo, that was a lot of work, wasn't it? Yes, it was, but it's all <laughs> gonna be worth it. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so we have our potatoes that have been cooled, peeled, and chopped. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need to season it with just a little bit of salt, not a whole lot. Just a little few shakes. What's next, madam? Now we're going to get about a cup of mayo. And with the, the liquid ingredients, you'll start with a cup, but you might want to add more. You, sometimes or, you have to, yeah, yeah. You have to add. So it's just basically preference or how moist it is. The size of your potatoes. The size of the potatoes. Okay. Some people like more mustardy potato salad. Mm -hmm. They like yellow mustard. Uh, let's put the secret ingredient. The ingredient. secret ingredient, which is not a secret anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> it's out there in the universe. I hope my mom doesn't know what I'm telling. Well, you know what? Hopefully all these barbecue joints and everybody who makes potato salads will take notes. Because I'm very picky about my potato salads and this is the only potato salad that is... It's very rare that you go to a place of uh, barbecue where they sell barbecue mm -hmm. and you can say the potato salad was good. Yeah. It's more like a mashed potato yes. with onions. And it's white and yes. it's just not what it should be. So um, We're going to start off with half a cup. Like I said, a lot of it has to do with the size of your potatoes. We'll start with half a cup. Okay. Mix it very well. And then also, you, if you'd like, you can add chopped celery. My granddaughter doesn't like celery, so we don't put it, but it makes it taste good. But her daughter loves celery. Yes, my daughter loves celery. And my brother. When you did make it with celery, she would always make a batch in a bowl for me without celery. Yes. Let's add our veggies. Okay, so we are going to start with our pickles. It was half a cup of pickles. Half a cup. Nicely chopped. And I don't like to use the, the chopped dill mm -hmm. because it can have a lot of the vinegar juice in it. Oh, okay. And it kind of wets your potato. Okay. So, so chop your own pickles. Mm -hmm. Yes. Half a cup of green olives, half of an onion, and three hard boiled eggs with the yolk. If you're not allergic. If you're not allergic. Nice and well. And as you can tell, as you're mixing, it looks like it needs a little bit moisture. Mm -hmm. And I would add the sandwich bread instead of the mayo. Okay. Because that's where your flavor is at. So we're going to add about another half a cup, which would make it a whole cup. Like I said, depending on the size of your potatoes. Ooh, this 
is an arm workout. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to be worth it at the end. It's going to be worth it. Yes. So we're going to put them in a half a cup. There we go. Are you, would you need help? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. My arms hurt. Okay, so just mix it well. Try not to, to mix Mash it. it. Yes, because you don't want to have mashed potatoes. We want potato salad. Take off your excess. That is probably one of your biggest Fold it. Complaints. It's best to fold your, your potatoes from the bottom to the top. That way you get everything mixed. And your, it, this is a good time to put in your mustard and about two tablespoons, so two good squirts. Mm -hmm. Squirt, squirt. That's good. That's how we're measuring that. Two mm -hmm. good squirts. <laughs> two good squirts, two teaspoons, two tablespoons, however you think you might like it. How yellow? We kind of like ours just a little bit yellow. I do. Anytime I go to a restaurant and get potato salad, well, I don't usually, but whenever I do, if it comes out white, I'm like, ugh. Like, I almost want to go get a packet of mustard and put it in and, there. And there is different kinds. Uh, some of your local uh, grocers have their own brand of sandwich bread. Mm -hmm. Kraft. Kraft. Kraft sandwich bread. It does make a difference. Makes a difference. Okay. Do you want to grab a teaspoon and give it a taste test? Sure. Okay. What do you think we need to add? Mm. It's so good. Are you in heaven? I'm in heaven. Okay. And now you know our family secret. Yep. Please try it. I guarantee you, you will like it. You will love it. This will be a hit if you serve it for your friends and family, or if you bring it for like a potluck or something at work, it will be a hit. People ask for this. <laughs> I actually did put this in a company barbecue that we had for a contest. Mm -hmm. You could bring your favorite dish, and I did get first prize. Oh, nice! That's back in my earlier days. <laughs> Well, here you go. You have an award-winning family recipe for potato salad. Hopefully you like this video, guys. If you want to see more recipe videos, just let me know. Thank you, Momo. You're welcome. For being on my channel today. She had to do some silly things earlier with the Whisper <laughs> Challenge, but it was fun. We love her cooking. We love her recipes. They're all original, and they all have a little special something to it. If you want to see more, just let me know. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and thank you for watching. Bye, guys. Bye. We did it! We did it. Did we just become best friends? I think we did. Thank you so much for watching this video. You see that button with my face on it? Go ahead and click it so you can subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one.